In this video, we are going to be looking at Heimdall. Heimdall is a dashboard for all your web applications with over 490 supported applications at the time of recording. Heimdall is a robust and mature dashboard. We will review how to deploy it on TrueNAS as well as Dockage and set up some example apps. Let's get started. Beginning at my TrueNAS dashboard, I'm going to want to click Datasets in the left pane. In my Tank Configs dataset, I'm going to click Add Dataset in the top right. I'm going to name it Heimdall, and I'm going to leave the dataset preset as generic and click the blue Save button. When the warning pops up, I'm going to click Return to Pool List. Now we can see Heimdall in the center pane under my Tank Configs directory. I now need to modify the permissions of my Heimdall dataset by clicking Heimdall in the center pane, and in the bottom right where it says Permissions, clicking the Edit button. I need to change the group to Apps, and then I need to give that group full access by giving it Read, Write, and Execute permissions, and then stripping the permissions of other by unchecking these checkboxes here. I'm going to want to check the Apply Group checkbox under my new Apps group, and then click Save. In the bottom right, I should now see these permissions. Let's launch this app. Go to your Apps tab on the left pane, click Discover Apps in the top right, search for Heimdall, click the Heimdall app, click the blue Install button, and scroll down until we get to the Storage Configuration section and change your type to Host Path. Now in the Host Path, find the Host Path of the dataset we just created. Once that's selected, scroll all the way to the bottom and hit Install. To install via Dockage, click Dockage in your applications, click Web UI, click the Compose button in the top left, and then give your stack a name. Remove all the placeholder data on the right, jump over to the Service at Home Wiki, and in the top search bar, search for Heimdall. Once you select Heimdall, you will see the Docker Compose directly on the Wiki page. Click Copy in the top right to grab all this information, go back to Dockage, and paste the configuration file. If your pool is named something other than tank, make sure to change it right there. Go ahead and hit deploy. Now that Heimdall is up and running, I'm going to click Heimdall in the TrueNAS apps page and click HTTP to get to the interface. Now I'm going to have the option to add some applications to my new dashboard. Let's click the hyperlink in the top that says add an application here. I'm just going to add an application type of website and then put in a sample website. When I click go, it automatically populates my application name, color, and my URL. On the very bottom right, I'm going to click the little disk image to save. And now I have my first link on my dashboard. Let's go ahead and create a link to something that I've made in my home lab. I'm going to click the application list in the bottom right. I'm going to click add for application. I'm going to do an application type here, and I'm going to type in something like image. When I click image, you'll see it automatically populates the application name, a color, and the icon. It also gives me a description down here. Let's add my URL for my local image instance. When I click Save, I can now see Image on the dashboard, and when I click Image, I'm brought to my sign-in page. Let's do some rearranging to make things a little more interesting. I'm going to go ahead and create a sub-dashboard by adding some tags. So in the very bottom right, I'm going to click my tag list. I'm going to add a tag. I'm going to call this Home Lab. I'm not going to give it an icon for now, but you can pick an icon if you want, and I'm going to hit Save. When I click Home Lab, it brings me to a sub-dashboard where it says there are currently no pinned applications. Let's do the same thing. Let's click Add an Application here. I'm going to add an application type. I'm going to add Nextcloud. You'll see again, it automatically populates my application name, a color. Once I add my URL, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom and hit Save. And we see here that Nextcloud ended up on my main dashboard. That's because I have to give it a tag. Let's go back in and my application list and edit my Nextcloud instance. And I'm going to remove this tag for Home Dashboard and switch it to Home Lab and then click Save. We can now see that Nextcloud has been moved. It's no longer shown on my main dashboard. When I click Home Lab, we can see the sub dashboard I made, which now contains Nextcloud. I can get back to my main dashboard by clicking the nine box icon here for Home Dashboard on the bottom right. At any time, I can rearrange these by clicking the top, which says Reorder and Pin Items. And I can click and move some of these things around and then click Home Dashboard again to save. When I click Reorder and Pin Items again, and I click Pin Item to Dashboard on the right, we can see here I can show or hide by these pins any of the applications that I've already added. Now let's add another dashboard using some API keys to show you what advanced buttons look like. I'm going to click my tags in the bottom right, and I'm going to add a new tag, and I'm going to call this media. I'm going to click save. Let's add an application to my media dashboard. When I click media, I'm going to click add an application here. I'm going to set the application type to radar. I'm going to add my URL. I'm going to change my tags from Home Dashboard to Media. 
On the very bottom where it says config optional, I'm going to click this to enable and add my API key. And when I hit save, I'm brought back to my home dashboard. I'm now going to click my media sub dashboard and we see radar has been added and I have a missing and queue count down here because the API is successfully talking to the radar backend. We can do this with any app that we want that includes additional options for API keys. This has just been a quick example of adding a few apps to my Heimdall dashboard, but you can see how easy this is and how quickly we can build very large dashboards with tons of functional apps. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of Heimdall, and if you're using a dashboard, which one you like the best. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get all our updates and click the thumbs up button if you like this video. If you want to have a longer conversation with us, jump on our Discord server. Thanks for watching.